Hi everyone, today I'm doing a tutorial on Unity 2D top-down character movement. At the end of this tutorial you should have something that looks and works a little bit like this little scene that I've set up here where you've got your player and the background and when you click at a certain position your player will move to that position. This will be obviously useful for your 2D adventure games, RPGs and other top-down games. So without wasting any more time, let's uh, jump right into this tutorial. So I'm going to start off with a new Unity 2D project here, which I've just started. And what we got here is I've got some graphics, I've got a background and I've got character. These are all just uh, sprites sprite sheets at the moment and we actually need to assemble them so that you've got an actual character and not just this fragmented uh, pieces of our character so to start off we just need to make sure that our texture types for both our graphics is 2d and ui and also just check that for your background as well that that's also the case so going back to our character in our player, we just want to go on to the sprite editor just to make sure that everything has been sliced. I have already pre-sliced most of these pieces already before this tutorial so that we don't waste too much time on actual slicing and get to the guts of the actual player movement. So I'm just going to just quickly assemble this player in my scene. Right, great. So we're just going to quickly then just reposition all these pieces. <clears throat> Add the eyes. We need to increase the layer, draw depth here as well. And there, our player is now assembled almost. Just need to add the arms. And there we go, we've got our player assembled. Now we want to go and right click here, create an empty game object and rename this to player. We want to add all these game objects to as uh, children of the player. And now we just want to build up a bit of a hierarchy of how these pieces fit together. If we want to do some animations later on, but for this tutorial, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to keep the base player as is. So we can just do the movement of the player. We're not going to be doing any animations. So the first thing I want to do is I just want to go back here and I want to create this as a prefab. So I'm going to create a folder called prefabs. And I'm going to drop the player in there so that it's a prefab. Next thing we want to do is add a component, rigid body, 2D. Now I just want to show you something here which is very important. If we hit play now, hit uh, what's going to happen, our player just falls. So in order to stop that, what we need to do is just set our gravity scale to zero. And you should see that our player stays in one place. Just going to just quickly fix just his head. Make it a one. All right. Okay. Then the next thing we need to do is just to make this look a little bit better, so that we can see what's going on. Is we're going to create a new empty game object, and we're going to rename that to background. And then with that, I'm just going to bring in my background as well. Just on this uh, empty game object, we just need to add a sprite renderer and drop our background into a sprite slot. So this gives us a nice little background. And if we just want to adjust how this looks, we can just resize our camera slightly here as well. So the next thing we need to do is we need to write our script, which is going to allow our player to move. So I'm going to click on our player and click on add component and I'm going to call this player move and 
go to your new script, create an ad. And then I'm going to double click to open it up into Visual Studio. Right, so here we've got our play and move script. We're just going to need a few variables here, which is going to allow us to control the speed of our player and its positioning. And then we're going to go into doing some input from our mouse and then reassigning the position of our player. So first of all, we need a public float speed, which is going to be how fast our player can move. We need a private vector to target position, which is going to determine where we've clicked and where the player needs to move towards. Just to start off, we're going to set our target position to a new vector 2, and we're going to just set it to 0 and 0 in the world space. Because we're going to set our player as well to 0, 0 in world space, when we do start our game, we're not going to see any jitter or our player moving across the screen. It's just going to remain in the same position, but also by setting it to zero, 0, we at least have a initial target position, which is assigned. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get our player in our input from our mouse, and then we're going to actually do some conversions because our mouse click will then give us a, a screen position, and then that needs to be converted to a world point position, which is a point in our scene, not on our screen essentially, and that will then be fed back into the player's transform so that we can move the player. So let's quickly get through that. So first of all we need an if statement to do the input get mouse button down and we're going to be looking for button zero which is the left click on our mouse. Then we're going to set our target position equal to input.mouse position, which gives us the position of where our mouse is clicked on the screen. But remember, we need to now convert it to a world point. So we're going to take our target position again, and we're going to use our camera and our main camera, and we're going to screen to world point this position. So for that we need a vector 3, so we're going to have to use new vector 3 and we're going to take our target position dot x, target position dot y and remember our last variable which is the z is going to be 0 because we're only operating in 2D space. Then the next thing we want to do is we just want to update the position of the player so we're going to say this dot transform the position equals vector 2 and vector 2 has got this great method called move towards which you can put in the target position sorry the player's position turn dot position and then we're going to give it the target position of where we want our player to move to then obviously we need to provide it some type of speed, so we're going to take the speed and we're going to multiply that by time dot delta time. If you don't know what time dot delta time does, is it basically just makes sure that the frames are uniform across all platforms and just basically works on system time to allow us to slow down our frame rates and everything just so that everything is like consistent and we don't get like jitter or lag on different types of platforms. Okay, cool. So now we've got our script, hit save, and let's head over back to Unity. All right, so we've got our player. Just want to make sure that our player is at 0, 0, 0. Okay, great. And then we need to set the speed on our player, which I'm going to set to 10. And let it play and see if this works. Get our player and click and click and our player moves. So great, that's the end of this tutorial. If you liked it, please subscribe and hit the notification bell to get more updates on my new YouTube channel for any other tutorials in future. Great guys, thanks a lot. See you in the next one. Cheers.